Hey, my fellow little magpies. I am all over jewelry. Jewelry is a super important part of my life. And I wanted to talk to you today about jewelry and spirituality and magic, how I use my jewelry and show you a few of the things that I use for magic and that I wear on a regular basis as talismans or just because they are pretty, honestly. But I'll try to go a little bit into where I got them, what they mean to me, and if I use them in my spiritual and magical practice, how I use them. If I have links to the jewelry pieces or the designers, I will put them down below. Um, this video isn't sponsored, I guess I should say that. <laughs> this is all just my jewelry, my obsession, my immense amount of accessories that I have. <laughs> and it was really hard to limit it, but I kind of stuck to my current favorite pieces that I actually wear regularly and what I use them for. All right, my loves, I took you down to the altar space now. I'm just going to tie up my hair real quick so that my hair doesn't fall into the shot. <laughs> so let's look at this selection, whoops, of my favorite jewelry. There is definitely a lot more than this, but let's just jump right in. So this necklace, as you can see, it has all of the phases of the moon, which is why it's one of my favorite necklaces. I got this as a gift and I love wearing it because as a talisman, it reminds me of the cyclical nature of the world, of myself. It reminds me to allow myself those moments of waxing and of waning because both is a natural part of life, you know. And wearing this necklace, I feel like I can always sort of embody that energy. And let's go to this beautiful, magical amethyst necklace. It's an agate that has an amethyst in it. I actually bought this for myself. Um, unfortunately, back then I wasn't paying so much attention to the ethical productions of gemstones and of jewelry, so I don't actually know where exactly it comes from. I know the designer who made it, but I don't know much else about it. And it's definitely what I wear when I feel like I have an intense day where I want to connect to my intuition, if you know what I mean. Where if I want to dive in and kind of go into that fairy tale universe that is inside of me and be able to appreciate my intuition and listen to it. Now let's look at this beautiful bangle. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And it was given to me also by a friend of mine who is a jewelry designer and um, yeah, basically as a thank you for something I did for her, kind of like a little trade of. Same for this beautiful tourmaline necklace. And where the bangle kind of reminds me of adopting the magician's mindset every day and remembering to see the world in a magical way and to kind of bring magic into other people's lives. This necklace is more something I wear when I want to um, be steadfast, be strong, be serious, but not too serious, obviously. And I just love the structure of it and the silver at the top. It's one of my favorite necklaces definitely but unfortunately since most of my wardrobe is dark <laughs> it's often not visible when i wear it but that's not what it's about it's about the effect now let's talk about this cute necklace it's from a museum shop and as far as i know this is one of the few where i don't actually know what designer it is from 
I think it's from um, a Danish or a Dutch designer and my mother gave this necklace to me for my birthday a few years ago because she just wanted me to have a nice piece of jewelry. And it also has flowers that pertain to the place where I was born in because the street that I was born in is called um, like these flowers. So it's a very appropriate little gift. Then kind of sort of related, my aunt, I think also a few years ago at this point, gave me this necklace because she simply didn't want to have it anymore. And I love it very much as well. And I think it's very funny how these two necklaces sort of go together. They both have this like dualistic or this duality of two things reaching into each other and two things connecting. So having one from my aunt and one from my mother is very funny. All right, um, let's move to these earrings. They are by my favorite, I will just show one in a close-up, they are by far one of my favorites and it's my favorite jewelry designer. The person who makes this, um, the label is called Gem Kingdom and they are from the Netherlands and you can't quite see it here but it has, it's a garnet and it has this beautiful beautiful shine and luster I love it and it's made of bronze and it just has this heavy like cross and it's it's edgy but at the same time very elegant and my husband gave me those bef because I wished for them and because I really really wanted them and wanted them for a long time and I'm very happy I have them now. I have to admit I don't wear them a lot because they are very heavy and unfortunately my um, pierced ears are sort of touchy and aren't so happy if I put too heavy things in them. But I still love it to death and I love looking at them. Uh, yeah, these they just have a certain magic to them. The garnet, the bronze, I love it. Now let's get to something more magical right now. I mean, not more magical, but specifically magical. So this has engraved on one side a closed eye and on the other side a pomegranate. Uh, some of you may know if you've watched my channel that I have a deep connection with Persephone and her symbol is the pomegranate and the sort of intuition symbol like a reminder to sometimes close your eyes sometimes meditate is what the other side is about and i love that it just has these two sides basically um yeah it's a bracelet by merci maman they are actually a quite famous designer because they made jewelry for Kate Middleton and they are sort of a family oriented brand but they had an event um, and they gave away these for free it was so so cute and I had the best girl engrave this for me she was so cute because you actually have to engrave it very very quickly you have like a second to do it because you can't like do it slowly I always thought it was like a tattoo where you slowly slowly engrave but that's not how it works you have to be lightning fast and it's amazing that she did the pomegranate as well as she did so this is definitely a piece of jewelry that I also use in my spiritual practice. Sometimes I like having it on my altar and I definitely wear it every day as a reminder of Persephone and of shadow work and yeah, just sort of connecting to um, the shadow and the light aspects of myself. Now... We have these two beautiful rings. 
both of them my mother gave to me. Well, this one I actually sort of just took from her <laughs> one day. I just felt so called to it and just took it. <laughs> but, I mean, she knew about it. But still, I love wearing it. It's lapis lazuli and sterling silver, obviously. And, yeah, it's just nice. Whenever I wear something blue, I like wearing this as like a calming crystal. And then this one, you guys, this one is a true, true treasure for me. My mother had this made for me recently as a birthday gift. And the goldsmith that made this is actually the goldsmith that made a lot of her jewelry. She's known him for, I think, 30 years or something. And I think he might have actually made this ring. I'm not sure about it, though. Now, this is a moonstone, and I know it probably doesn't entirely show up on the camera right now. I'm just going to put it on because that sometimes makes it a little easier to see. So, sometimes it's completely transparent, and sometimes it has like this incredible iridescent blue light in it. Yeah, here you can kind of see it, like a glimpse of it. Yeah, and that's so amazing <laughs> how it changes so much depending on what light it's in. And obviously the moon as the maternal energy and the moonstone as a symbol for that makes this ring even more meaningful to me because my mother gave it to me. And yeah, I think it just has a beautiful symbolism that also has a lot. Oh, here you can see it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's magic. That's magic with a K, as Kellyanne would say. Oh, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> um, I wear it as sort of a protective talisman and something that um, reminds me of my mother, definitely, and is also incredibly pretty. And looking at it, at the iridescent light in it that is only visible from some perspectives also gives me a lot of joy. <laughs> Now, let's look at this one. This is also by Gem Kingdom. Uh, hold on, I will put it on real quick to show you better. So, it's an interesting ring because it has like these two dangly things right here. You have a pearl and a cross and then a beautiful rose made of mother of pearl. As I said, it's also by Gem Kingdom and it's sort of my post-engagement ring <laughs> because my husband and I, we never got engagement rings or wedding rings because we didn't feel it was necessary. But at some point I decided I just really love this ring. And even though I don't wear it every day, I wear it most days in winter, not so much in summer because I don't like wearing rings in summer. But um, yeah, I just wear it as a reminder of my husband and the love we share. <laughs> Getting really, really cheesy here. But I just sort of thought it was time for me to get an engagement ring after we're married now. We've been married for quite a few years. And this one, I don't know. It just called to me. It just called to me. It's beautiful. Now... The second to last thing, this is a ring that has actually been passed down in my family for quite some time, and it says, barely, barely readable anymore, uh, Gott schütze dich in German, which means may God protect you, and I, I love how simple it is how thin it is. It's a very light ring, but it's real gold and it's just, it's a comfy ring to wear. It really is. And the fact that you can barely read the engraving, I feel like that sort of proves that it really sunk in, you know, like the meaning, even if I don't believe in the one God. 
I still believe in source energy and I believe in the universe and in divine energy. So this ring still means a lot to me. And I think that's something I had to get to in my journey to accept Christian symbols, not as dogmatic, but rather sort of make them my own and accept them into the fold, sort of, even though I still don't use Christian symbols a lot, this ring is definitely important for me. And Gott is barely readable, as you can see. It says it right there, but yeah, and then it says Schütze in the middle and Dich on the right side of it. Yeah. Now, let's look at the last thing. <laughs> this is a badass little earring. I bought this from a Russian peddler at a very interesting vintage market with a friend of mine. And it's just a badass earring. It's sort of, it makes me feel cool whenever I wear it because it kind of climbs up my ear, you know? So I feel really awesome when I wear it. And that alone sort of gives me power and energy and yeah, fashion and jewelry and accessories definitely have their own power to them and their own meaning for all of us. Whenever I wear it, I have a certain feeling. I have a certain magical mindset that in itself imbues the jewelry and in turn imbues me with this energy. It's crazy. I'll switch back to the other camera view now and talk to you a little bit more. Okay, I definitely have enough for a part two. I have so much, so much jewelry. <laughs> and these were just not even my favorite pieces. I, I try not to choose favorites, you know, because they all want to be loved. I should probably make this a video a video series or something and I'd love to see your jewelry see what you're up to how you use it what you use what it means where you got it I want to know everything because I love jewelry send me pictures if you want to on Instagram or uh, on here can you even send pictures in YouTube I have no idea if you can like in private messages anyways I'm very interested in the stories behind your jewelry because talismans and jewelry they are a story they are always a story from the minute they were manufactured to the minute you wear them they have the energy of the manufacturer your energy added to it the intention of the manufacturer the idea the design yeah <laughs> you can tell i'm really excited about jewelry i really am um yeah so share that with me I wish you the best of days, the best of weeks, and wear lots of jewelry. Wear bold jewelry today. That is my task for you guys. <laughs> I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.